This is where our receivers are receiving product, adding to Amazon's selection. They scan all of these items into these storage bins using radio frequency technology, activates it live on our website, and it's available to customers. You know, I've seen stuff that I have never seen before in my life. <laughs> uh, we've got extension cords, a Makita drill, backpacks, Look at this. and vitamins. You've got extension cords. Can I pick these up? Uh, you can't just... Put them back Do me in the a same favor. Place. I will mark this so we know exactly where that extension cord <laughs> needs right. to go back. The USB extension cord right below it. You have this crystal, crystal? candle holders. That's Doesn't right. Doesn't make sense that these would be together, but but this makes the most sense for Amazon. It does. Why? We optimize our storage space. So all of these tags that we see, what does this tell you? This is a specific bin location, so we know exactly where our inventory is and we can get routed to it as quickly as possible when a customer orders it. Picker is the one that uh, goes out with and uh, pulls the items out of the bins uh, that the customers have ordered. Between the time that I order something online on Amazon.com and it gets pulled from one of these shelves or another distribution center, how long is that? Hours. Hours. You have a scanner and it directs you to a location, a bin location. Once you scan that bin with your scanner, it tells you the item that you're supposed to pick. So up here is where we assemble customers' orders. When a customer orders multiple items, uh, we've got over 500,000 square feet that we house inventory in. And so our challenge is to quickly get all of those items into one spot so we can package them and get them on the road to the customer. What about technology? What technology has made you able to meet your customer demands like that? Well, we uh, all of these systems that you see behind you yeah. uh, are, are the workings of Amazon's proprietary systems. We have brilliant software engineers that help us automate and optimize for our customers. So it's all about software? That's right. What are people buying that you weren't seeing them buy before? Are they opening up their wallets a little more? Well, you know, as, as we said, uh, in our Q3 guys, we, we expect this, this quarter to be our, our, our best ever with you know, ever. 46 to, to 40 percent growth uh, on the same quarter last year. Right now is the busiest time. It started Sunday and it's just not going to stop until Santa comes down the chimney. After we've picked our inventory, we're putting all of the items together to get to the customer. You see all of our cartons available, ready to be packed. So I'm seeing the Kindle, and there, there's a lot of these here, a That's lot right. of Christmas orders. That's right. So here, here we've got a Kindle uh, and the leather cover for it. Are people buying these together, the cover and the Kindle? Yes, they are. Yeah, They're very popular together. Uh, this is an order that's ready to be shipped. The blue light tells us that it's ready to be shipped. Yep. It's going to go in a carton here. We're going to scan it to the carton. It's going to go down this conveyor. So it'll go down here. Get down, get sorted out, and then get weighed and shipped right behind us here. Here is where we actually ship it to our customer. Automatic labeling. Automatic labeling. We've hired over 15,000 temporary associates to help us through the holiday season in North America. So what does that mean uh, for a facility just like this? Thousands of, of jobs. Just for the holidays? Just for the holidays. How last minute can people order things? Well, last year a customer ordered an item at 9.17 p.m. on December 23rd, and we delivered to them in time for Christmas in Boca Raton, Florida. Final step? This is it. So after we weighed it, we put the shipping label on it, we sort it out to a number of different carriers. We're going to close that trailer door and off to the customer.